The topic is Democracy on the Horn of Africa, Part 2, indicating that we've already dealt with uh, some of the implications uh, for the uh, Horn of Africa with some of the uh, recent developments. And we have on this particular segment, uh, Maasai and uh, Dr. Nagutu to talk about uh, some of the issues dealing with democracy, not only on the horn, but democracy in uh, the uh, country of Ethiopia itself. Of course, uh, Dr. Nagutu, I think uh, we promised you that uh, when we came back, we would give you an opportunity to, to uh, continue talking about some of the issues that you see being significant in, on, on the uh, horn of Africa and Ethiopia at this time. Yeah, um, uh, in that part of uh, Africa and uh, actually as a whole in third dollar countries, mm -hmm. uh, the impact of uh, the developed nations, the mm -hmm. Western nations particularly, mm -hmm. is important. Um, the actual change should, should come maybe from the people mm -hmm. themselves, but there a lot of support could come also mm -hmm. from developed nations. Mm -hmm. And what happens in Ethiopia in the last 15 years, that government is dividing the people mm. based on ethnicity. Mm -hmm. And can you believe uh, dividing uh, uh, administrative regions mm. based on language? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you can, at the beginning given, you cannot have a party mm. on multi-ethnic basis. Mm -hmm. You can't have a party only one ethnic mm. for one party, mm -hmm. another ethnic for another party. Mm -hmm. And such a system, it couldn't serve the people. Mm -hmm. It couldn't develop the economic uh, situation in the country. Mm -hmm. But uh, Western uh, nations, they overlooked mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. at the best, but I think actively supported it mm -hmm. sometimes. And what happened in Kenya is amazing. Mm -hmm. The reason is that Kibaki mm -hmm. took power from Moi. Mm -hmm. President Moy, mm -hmm. and he was elected democratically. Mm -hmm. He got his power through the ballot box. Mm -hmm. Now, maybe he learned some technique from Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. His dictatorial instinct brought him back mm -hmm. to be another dictator in Africa, mm -hmm. and that was a stable country. Mm -hmm. And so, what we know is really Western nations should really realize that mm -hmm. these dictators they don't care about mm -hmm. their people, whether they come through the barrel of the gun, as it, it mm -hmm. is the case in Ethiopia, or if they get opportunity even if they come through the mm -hmm. ballot box. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the best thing really uh, to help the people of East Africa is to ally America, like here we mm -hmm. are, or Western nations in West Europe, mm -hmm to support the people mm -hmm. rather than the government. Mm -hmm. And we cannot have a strategic alliance with dictators. Mm -hmm. There may be some tactical things. Here we are fighting terrorism, but mm -hmm. a, terrorist, a terrorist country which mm -hmm. is terrorizing his own people mm -hmm. cannot bring us mm -hmm. good citizens in that country. Mm -hmm. There may be a fertile ground for terrorism in those countries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how can America all in all its financial resources mm -hmm. fight the whole world mm -hmm. if the whole world is full of dictators? Mm -hmm. So we cannot have strategic mm -hmm. alliance with dictators. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we have to know that. And uh, fortunately, with there is a shift in American political system. Mm -hmm. There is HR 2003. Mm -hmm. uh, it is anonymously passed in the House of Representatives yeah. in October, mm -hmm. and it is fully aligning American uh, policy towards freedom, mm -hmm. democracy, and uh, mm -hmm. everything we expect from American mm -hmm. value system. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's, uh, but, but, so uh, uh, Mesa, when uh, you started fighting, uh, your freedom fighting days uh, in Ethiopia, what was the attitude of many of the Western nations? Has, has this always been the attitude, this fight for t over terrorism and et cetera? And I understand, I can see it coming after 2000, but uh, back in the 19, 1990s, uh, what was the uh, attitude that most Western nations had in reference to your freedom fighting at that particular time? Well, that time was really very different from now. Uh -huh. Because that time it was, uh, between imperialism and communism. Mm -hmm. So the 
communists came to my country, mm -hmm. the Russians were there, the Americans were thrown away by the military and communist regime. Mm -hmm. So that time, is, um, that was an ideological war. Mm -hmm. It was a, a fight against ideology. Mm -hmm. I was fighting against communists yes. mm -hmm. because they were just killing people and throwing them on the street. Mm -hmm. But now, is different mm -hmm. now is different now for for example if you compare ethiopia mm -hmm. and kenya kenya is a very stable country mm -hmm. and very peaceful country mm -hmm. uh, all, all, all from all over uh, mm -hmm. africa mm -hmm. it was a very known peaceful nation mm -hmm. democratic nation mm -hmm. Now this happened in Kenya. Okay. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden this happened. It's exploded and people are killed. The election, they say it mm -hmm. is stolen. Mm -hmm. It is, as, as my brother said, it has been, they have been learned from Ethiopia mm -hmm. presently. Because in 2005, about 26 million people come out to vote. Mm -hmm. It is the first time in Ethiopian history. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ethiopia was ruled by uh, kings, yeah. so, so. Mm -hmm. it was our first, mm -hmm. first test of democracy, and they, they proclaimed there is a democracy, mm -hmm. they tried to deceive uh, as a world that there is democracy mm -hmm. in my country, and when it comes against them, the democracy they open, mm -hmm. they come against them because they, people come mm -hmm. out and uh, uh, show Mm -hmm. About 95, 97 percent of the people voted against the present mm -hmm. regime. Mm -hmm. That time, when people demonstrated, they stole the election. Mm -hmm. They took the election from all over the country, around the country. Mm -hmm. uh, then the people were angry. Ang they were, it was anger. Mm -hmm. So they demonstrated peacefully. Mm -hmm. That time they were killed mm -hmm. by sharpshooters, mm -hmm. young men, Very good. about 200 of them. And of course, Dr. Nagutu, when we come back, uh, let's have you to think about, uh, before we get into this uh, final commercial break, let's have you to think about the idea of uh, dictatorship and democracy to the extent that uh, uh, now we are, at one time we, we were fighting dictators, and now we are fighting terror. Now, uh, both of those are justifications for uh, whatever the policies that we have, you see. Now, uh, how do you see the difference between uh, fighting terror and fighting dictators? Is there any great, uh, and then of course we, we're getting ready for our uh, commercial break, and then I want you to address that when we come back, and we'll be back with our audience following this very, very uh, short commercial break. We're talking to Mesa.